Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to talk about Apple's announcement yesterday. Apple's announcement was about iBooks, and iBooks has been on the iPhone and iPad for some time, and basically it allows you to read books on those devices. Now there's other options such as Amazon and things like that, but what Apple did yesterday that's really interesting is partner with a bunch of education textbook suppliers. And because they did that, it's going to be more easily available for anyone to use the entire iPad iBook store for their curriculum at school than it is for anything else. So on my screen I actually have the iBook app or iBook author that Apple released for free for anyone to create an iBook from. It's pretty amazing that they're giving it away for free. I don't think anybody really expected that too much. Uh, and as you can see I have my logo on here and we can delete things. Uh, we can move things around they will center uh, by themselves. It's basically like using Pages and Kino is what what Apple uh, compared it to to create an iBook. So on the left here you can see that we have all these options and if you have a Mac this is available for free right now so you can go ahead and grab this yourself uh, without a problem and start playing around with it. You do have to be approved to publish to the iBook store though. So if we go here you can see we have book title, media, table of contents, glossary, uh, chapter one, so on and so forth. So if I want to modify this part, I click here, I can modify this one, and all I have to do is click into this area and start typing. So I can just say hi, go to two, how are you, and so on. It's drag and drop simple. And we have a bunch of options here as well that can make things smoothly flow in and out. You can see right here if we tap on this, uh, we can fill, color fills, uh, stroke, shadow, makes things really easy to use. We can put different shapes. So if anyone's used Keynote, this is going to look really familiar. So we can drop a shape in here. We want to use a box. We'll put it here. We can resize it. And we can change the color. Maybe we want it whatever color we can change it to whatever we want and then put text in it drop in whatever images we want and it would look really nice we also have some different widgets that they've included and this includes keynote and 3d objects so you can spin them around uh, you can also put your own html or javascript in there and what that will allow you to do is actually create your own little app within the book so if you have something that you want to put in there that's written in html or javascript it should work just fine so you can put a gallery in here for images just drag and drop everything's really simple drag and drop and why no one has done this before this simply and this easily I'm not really sure it's not uh, too difficult when you look at it this way now the one thing you do have to look at is how it publishes this is to publish to the iBook store only uh, I believe even in their license agreement they don't want you to publish anywhere else so they are there are some interesting things within the application for that and you can see there's things in the preferences rulers auto correction uh, it's just a really nice easy app overall and what's going to be interesting is over the next two or three years to see if schools really pick up and adopt this technology or if they just decide to stick with regular textbooks it wouldn't surprise me if they go the route of iPad I do know of some schools that really use just an iPad for certain grades to test them out and they seem to do just well or just fine and the schools they do have some problems managing them but I think it will save them a lot of money in textbooks textbooks are priced about fifteen dollars or less so instead of spending whatever they cost a hundred or same for college textbooks you've got major publishers like Pearson publishing that's involved that should make it really easy to, t to publish your textbook or get the textbook you're looking for so should you want to publish your own textbook you can do that and as you can see here we have publish and preview if I had an iPad in this room here with me I could actually preview the book right on the iPad just tap on this it looks for the device and sends it right over it's pretty interesting and pretty easily uh, uh, easy to to publish a book you can see here we can publish we can save it and then we have to uh, grab go to this link and grab an uploader and sign up for an account so if you're interested in publishing a book uh, you might want to do that now I think that should people adopt this this is really going to change things over the next few years uh, I think the one thing that nobody expected was them not to reduce the price for education of the iPad the iPad is 
pretty expensive for educational institutions to buy at $500 each. So I know they do offer some discounts, but it would be interesting to see what they decide to do. As far as schools adopting them, once they do adopt them, I think you'll see some things change quite a bit. Uh, they actually, uh, Apple also released iTunes U or iTunes U or University uh, as a separate app. It used to be a part of iTunes, and now it's a separate app, and it allows teachers to publish syllabus and or syllabi. I'm not sure what, which way you put that, uh, but they allow you to publish those within iTunes U, and anybody can access that. So should you have a question of where you should be in a lesson or college class or wherever, you should have no more question if you're using that and it'll all be available simply right there. So it's a pretty nice set of free tools that Apple's released and hopefully a lot of schools adapt them. I'm curious to think what you guys think about that. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what happens down the road with school and people adopting the iBook standard. Uh, I'm, I would like to see them be able to publish to other platforms as well using this tool. That would make things really nice to have it on an Android tablet or any tablet you choose and it just be all unified. But uh, that doesn't tend to usually be Apple's way, so we'll see what happens there. Overall, though, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this to see if it's something that you think is a, a good idea, is exciting, uh, or you just don't care, or if you're in school and you already use an iPad, I'd love to hear what, what you think of that. So overall, just let me know what you think about that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do that. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.